Hey everybody, it's Peter from Indigo River Tiny Homes and we're standing in front of our latest build which is a 28 foot Pioneer model custom built for a customer. On the outside we've got our storage shed over the tongue of the trailer with the mini split system out here. Except this time it's not a storage shed, but it's interior. That's right, it's not this time. Yep. I forgot, well, so, I can tell you where it is on the inside. Yeah, you access it from the inside this time, so yeah. it's a little bit different. Yeah, but that built on a trailer made custom trailer. And this is the back door we're going into here. We have it turned around. It's got the blind. So this is glass. pet door. <laughs> Excuse me. Blinds inside the glass. Very popular. All right, here we are. We're standing in the living area right now. So this is a Pioneer, did you say that? Pioneer, yes, which means for us that's all one level. So there's no crawling loft or, um, you can do a crawling loft if you want, but there's uh, It's downstairs sleeping. Downstairs sleeping, thing. Downstairs you. master. Yep. And this one, she opted for a Murphy bed. And so this will be the living area slash bedroom. So the Murphy bed pulls down like that. And the weight of the mattress will keep it down. <laughs> it won't stay down because it's too light right now. We've so this looks clothes. really pretty. Yeah, we planked it to match the walls. And then we've got this beautiful built-in wardrobe, which is normally in the shed area, but we, we built this out from the inside um, so that she could have extra storage for her clothes. So we've got hanging here. And then drawers down below, all pushed to open so that the... So it's a smooth... Smooth, and also the handles won't interfere with the opening and closing of the murky bed. Yeah. So, mini split. Ceiling fan for ventilation. People ask a lot about, what do y'all do for ventilation? So we, of course, the ceiling fan is standard, and then we do... Some, some ventilation to the outside and the bathroom and the kitchen. And That's a fresh all. air inlet. And then a fresh air inlet. So let's look at that. And so when you turn the fan on over the cooktop or in the bathroom, that's drawing, that's blowing air out and it comes in through that fresh air. And then the Mr. Cool um, mini splits. So they have a heat setting, a cool setting, a, just a fan setting, and then a dehumidify setting. Mm -hmm. So. Indigo River houses, no mold happening here. <laughs> yeah, uh, the, she had a had us install a pet door, so it's a through the wall pet door. It's gonna have a fenced in area out the back door here. It's just fire extinguisher. Got a great size kitchen. This one, lots of countertop space, full size sink with uh, accessories that, that sit down in the lip of the sink. So this is the recycled glass countertops. So you can get all different kinds of colors. Um, but this one is nice with the green and brown and amber yeah. with the red cabinets. I think that turned out, yeah, it turned out great pretty fun. Cabinets. And then also the Tokyo drawers down here, which is something we do in most of our houses. And then we got a breakfast bar. Workspace, whatever you want to do there. And you can look out the window. And that's tabletop height, so a regular chair will fit there. So sometimes we do them bar height, really countertop easy. height. Put up and put down. And we've got a full size oven, big enough to cook a turkey in. <laughs> Two burner cooktop, and then a microwave. I like how she did her sideways. Did y'all yeah. do that or did she ask for that? Uh, the countertop guys did that. Oh. And then the, oh, this one has a slide out. Oh, yeah. She wants to use this as a broom closet. Normally we put some shelves in here and make this slide out pantry, but she wants to actually use it as a broom closet instead. You could put a couple shelves on the top. Yeah, pro yeah there probably is room for a shelf or two. We might add that. Um, then apartment size fridge. <laughs> Snaps right back in there. Maybe. We'll edit that in post. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you know, this uh, 10, 10 cubic foot 
fridge. And, I'll let you and know then the we always do the oh yeah the thing so your your fridge is a little bit higher up yeah, when the you do when they do the full. apartment size. Yeah, because the space because it's so low to the ground. Okay, so we've got a nice vanity. This is a standard vanity for us. Um, she wanted the stackable washing machine and then a regular flush toilet. Obscured glass. We won't look at me in the mirror. <laughs> so there's a little different medicine cabinet than what we normally do, but... And we've got our full-size soaking tub. Now, what he's cramped in here, you can fill it all the way up. So this is our standard. We do acrylic surround for showers or or bathtub is our standard. And then if you want to upgrade to something different, you can. Cute door. Normally we do pocket doors, but I don't we know. We can get them for like two months. We can get pocket door frames. Oh my gosh. It's this so is why tiny there. houses are... And every kind of houses are expensive because everything takes longer. And we waited a month for one window yep. on this house oh, and another house where all the windows came but one. Yeah. And then uh, above is the storage loft. Did you want to show that? Oh, yeah. I kind of showed that from the other end. So normally we put the hot water heater in a different place, but this, uh, this house that's up there and then storage space. All right. Is that everything? I think we showed everything. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Tune in again. Come see us. We love you.